Well, it happened again. In case you're living under a rock, the Fed raised the interest rate by 75 basis points. So, what does that mean? You guessed it. Interest rates are going up. Now, they've been 7.25%. So, they're going to go up just a little bit more. But, I don't want you to stress out. Because this is the time where the market's getting a little bit more normalized. Does that mean you shouldn't buy? Nope. In fact, you should. Rents are still going up, and they can go up 10%. So yes, you're still saving yourself money if you buy a house, even if the interest rates go up to 8%. That's a 2% savings annually. And your mortgage payment never goes up. It's fixed. Now, let's talk about saving for a home because that's what's got so many people concerned. There is a common misconception out there that you actually need to have 20% to buy a home. And that's just not the case. Now, everyone is different and every loan program is different. But in many cases, you can put down as little as 3% to buy a home. That's why it is so important to talk to a lender if you're thinking about buying a home in this market. Because you will be saving money if you buy versus rent. Now, when you're saving, you also have to budget for closing costs. What are closing costs, you ask? Those are your lender fees, your title fees, and your escrow fees. And any prepaids like interest, taxes, but you should budget about 2% for all of that. And in some cases, we can actually get the seller to pay for that, in some cases. We'll also need your money for the earnest money deposit, which is the 1% to 3% we've talked about in other videos. That is your skin in the game, so the seller knows you're serious about buying their house. And if the transaction falls apart, you get that money back. So if you're interested in buying, contact me, reach out to me, and join me for my weekly homebuyer seminar every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Talk to you soon. Bye.